What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 21, Problem 5 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 21 is all about electric charge, and Problem 5 talks about a tiny sphere that has some initial charge, big Q, and then a portion of that charge, little q, is transferred to a second sphere. We're told that they can be treated as particles, and we're asked for the value of the ratio little q to big Q that will produce a maximum electrostatic force. So we know that Coulomb's law states that the electrostatic force is equal to charge 1 times charge 2 over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. And so let's say that charge 1, we'll say, is the second particle, which has a charge of Q. That's what was transferred. And charge 2, we will say, is that initial charge Q minus the little portion Q. So this is like the second sphere that has the portion of charge transferred to it, so it's only going to have that portion. And then the other particle, which had the initial charge of Q, is losing that smaller portion Q. So we have Q and big Q minus Q. And so we can plug these into our equation. So we'll say F is equal to Q times big Q minus Q over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. And we're trying to find the ratio of little Q to big Q. So we can expand this out and say F is equal to big Q little q over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared minus q squared over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. I just multiplied this q out and then I divided each term by this denominator which gives us this and since we're trying to find where the electrostatic force is maximized we need to take a derivative so we're going to take that derivative with respect to little q. So we can say df d little q. And we're going to want that to be equal to 0. And to find a maximum, you need to take the derivative and set that equal to 0. So we have 0 is equal to the derivative of this term with respect to little q is just q over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. Because this is the only term that has the little q in it. So derivative of q is just 1, so you'll be left with a, q, a big Q. And then on this side, the derivative of q squared is going to be 2q. So we'll have minus 2q over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. And now we can multiply both sides by this denominator, and essentially we'll just be clearing the denominator. So we'll get 0 is equal to q minus 2q. And now we can move this little 2q to the other side. So we'll have 2q is equal to q. And then we can divide both sides by big Q. That'll give us 2q over big Q is equal to 1. And then divide by 2. And you can see that we will have the ratio of little q to big Q is equal to 1 half. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did, or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.